Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about the Nintendo Mini consoles, or retro classic consoles I should call them. Now we've got the NES and the SNES classics. These were released a couple of years ago, I bought these around release. These were very hard to find back in the day, and I'm not too sure if they've become more collectible, but they're definitely, definitely in my collection. Let's pull it open and have a look at it's because it has 30 games in it. Let's have a look at the NES Mini first. So, these are the games they say it has. Super Mario Bros., Legend of Zelda, Kirby's Adventure, Donkey Kong, Super Mario Bros. 3, Pac-Man, Metroid, Mega Man 2, Final Fantasy, Castlevania, Ninja Gaiden, uh, Punch-Out, Super Mario Bros. 2, Galaga, Balloon Fight, Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link, or the Adventure of Link, I should say. Ghosts and Goblins, Ice Climber, uh, Ex Exabyte, Exabike, Mario Brothers, Kid Icarus, Dr. Mario, Donkey Kong Jr., Bubble Bubble, Gradius, Tecmo Bowl, Super C, Castlevania Simon's Quest, Star Tropics, Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. So that is for the NES. And let's see what the SNES has on it. The SNES is slated to have... It says it has 20 plus 1 games. And the games on this are... Contra 3, The Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, um, Kirby's Dream Course, Kirby's Superstar, Mega Man X... Secret of Man Mana, Star Fox, Street Fighter 2, Turbo, Hypo, Hyper Fighting, Super, Super Castlevania 4, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Yoshi's Island, and Star Fox 2, can be unlocked by completing the first stage of Star Fox. So there you have it. Those are what's on both consoles. And let's have a look at what they actually look like. So let's pull open the box. I'm going to get this out very gentle because I want to make sure I preserve the box. I'll just close that back up. Be very careful with it. So we have the Nintendo Guide there. This is what the console looks like. I'm sure you've seen these a million times by now if you're in the gaming space. But just in case, this is what it actually looks like. And those are actual buttons. One is the power button and one is the reset button. Just put that over there. And then you also have the controls in here. and. HDMI and power cord, obviously, a USB-C power cord. I'm not going to take everything out because I don't think it needs to be taken out. Okay, so down the bottom is a power cord and a HDMI. I'm not going to go all the way down the bottom. But obviously you get the controller as well, so let's take the controller out. Just trying to get it out of there without actually putting too much strain on it. And let's put the box down there. Let's put that right there. I'm not going to unwrap it, but that's what the, the controller looks like. Very clicky. Yes, very nice console, very um, good looking, very much a um, classic console as you'd expect from Nintendo. Very nice product. Let's have a look at the SNES now. I'm sure it's the same setup, same sort of layout as what I just unboxed there. But let's take this out of its box and have a look at them. Very gentle because I try to preserve these boxes as they were. With the big new consoles I don't really preserve the boxes like the PlayStation um, 5 and that I don't really preserve the boxes for those. But hey there's a receipt in here. So for the SNES Mini this one I paid $119 for that when it was first released in 2017. So there we go. Kind of fascinating. Hmm, okay. That was interesting. I didn't even know how much I paid for it. You got the SNES booklet. 
this is what the SNES Classic looks like. Little flick button, replication of the original. Feels kind of nice, that one. Let's pick that box back up. Let's put the box back up here. And let's have a look at the controller as well. We'll put the controller out of here. This has two controllers in it. Amazing. And then what's underneath here? There's something underneath. Oh, it's just a power cord, which is a micro USB, I believe. I don't think it's USB-C. No, it's not. Okay, we'll just put that down there. And we'll have a look at the controller. And this is a Nintendo... In case you're wondering about the ports, that's what the port is. Just, you know, the typical... Nintendo port. I'll just see if this one works on the other one as well. See, so yeah, it works on both, so the other one would have the same connection as that. In case you were wondering. And yeah, this is the same sort of deal. Very nice. Very nice product. So we'll bring that into shot right here. We'll put that right there and we'll bring that back into shot. So who are these for? 2024 is definitely retro gaming is back and people are going back to retro. So I would recommend these to people who might want to play these games or never got a chance to or want to play them on a HD TV or something like that. They're definitely not bad, these consoles. I have played them recently. They are both they both still hold up. But you know, especially the NES classic. This is very expensive. And SNES you can get a bit cheaper, but NES is a bit more expensive because, you know, it's older. It was the first time they ventured into it. And this is one of the original ones. So this is essentially a product of that time. Or well, not a product of that time, but, you know, when they did the classic, this was the one everyone wanted in the world. And they had, they've done reprints of it again and again. So, yeah, this is early, very early. So look, I know people do jailbreak these things. And as I've said in my PlayStation Classic video, because I did a PlayStation Classic video as well, which you can also check out. I did a PlayStation Classic video. There is a jailbreak community around these things, but I would recommend against jailbreaking. I am not a fan of it, of jailbreaking. I prefer to keep the hardware as intended. And I would recommend these to people who want to play maybe Super Mario Brothers or Donkey Kong or something like that in the original setting on NES or SNES. Now, I don't know if there's a Famicom um, Mini. I'm sure there was one in Japan. I never bought that one, but I'm sure you can also get that as well. But I believe these are really good products. Um, Nintendo did a great job with the design and also making it feel like it runs like an original Nintendo uh, NES system or a SNES system. So they've done a really good job with the emulation, getting it working, and you might say, but everything can run a Nintendo game from back then. But these are official direct from Nintendo, so I am supporting Nintendo by buying these. And that's the thing, like, yes, you can, there are running emulators that can run everything, but I prefer to support the original company, if I can, the original releases. Now, obviously, collector's markets might say, we'll just buy SNES or NES and put the cartridges in ourselves, go and buy the actual cartridges. Games are getting more and more expensive. And to have a selection of these games, compared to something like the PlayStation Classic where it was missing a lot of the titles that you would associate with that, like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, Tony Hawk, these one, Nintendo retain a lot of their IPs. So they are all seen on here on these releases. And I can say that with confidence, you are playing a product that is very close to what you would have played on the uh, NES or the SNES. Now, obviously, there is emulation. It won't run, if you're doing, like, certain games, they won't run as they originally ran. But it looks great. It looks amazing. Um, it depends. It's preference. But I can say with confidence these are possibly two must-haves for gaming. Like, if you're a retro collector, these are great to have in your collection. And while, yes, you could collect the originals, you could collect the original games and original cartridges and original consoles, for what they are, these offer a lot of capabilities. And 
most people will be okay with just playing Super Mario on this and Zelda and stuff like that. So they've given us the games you want to play, other than the classic PlayStation Classic, which kind of held back on Crash Bandicoot because they couldn't re obtain the IP for that off Activision. So, yeah, there is a lot of reasons to pick these up. It's totally your choice, but I would recommend them. They are great consoles and great blasts from the past, I would say. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, drop a comment, notify. And if you like these videos, I've also turned on Super Chats and Super Thanks and Super whatever, Super Superman, I don't know. <laughs> I've turned on Super something. I've turned on everything. But yes, they're there. And I will create a members community eventually. I don't know what sort of content I'm going to do in the members community, but I am looking at doing a members community at some point. Don't know when, but it will be on, in the pipeline. And yeah. Thanks for supporting the channel. You don't have to do all the paid stuff, I still read all your comments. I love the community around me. I love my subscribers. And I love that people are engaged by what I'm posting. So yes, thank you for supporting the channel and thank you for watching me. And I will catch you in the next one if you do return. Peace out.